I am doing a review on Unique Face Primer in their Mineral Concealer. The Moonstruck Mineral Concealer. Um, this is the first time I've used these products and I'm doing a review on them because um, I'm holistic and I stopped wearing a lot of makeup about a year ago. In fact, all I have on my face right now is organic mascara and that's it. And then I use like vegan lipstick. Um, there's a lot of chemicals in makeup and I, um, for one, don't appreciate um, makeup companies putting chemicals in my makeup and that lead to like diseases and other cancers and then try to say that they're trying to fight against cancer and put, you know, uh, breast cancer ribbons on their products when the products that they have themselves actually cause cancer. So I um, am looking forward to trying this company, Unique, because they don't have um, chemicals in their products. In fact, they have a whole list of their ingredients on anything you buy on their website. So if you have any questions about any of the stuff that they have, the ingredients in it, you can look it up. And they actually have a description of each ingredient um, listed on their website, so you don't have to even like research much yourself. So anyways, I um, looked them up, and I didn't find a lot of bad stuff um, at first glance. Um, I only did about a week's worth of research, but so far so good. Um, they do have a preservative in some of their products, but um, the preservative didn't have a high rating of um, toxicity or anything like that. So that's good. A lot of um, products right now do not put parabens in their um, products, but there's a little bit um, of discrepancy on that. Some countries have parabens banned, and a lot of um, products and companies have banned parabens. But then in scientific research, they're saying there's not a lot of proof that um, parabens can be harmful for you. Basically, they mimic um, estrogen and um, other hormones, and mimic estrogen can lead to cancer, like breast cancer. So it's if you want to be on the safe side, you know, and there's so many you know companies now that took out parabens. I mean, that's been a reason they did that. If you want to play it safe, but um, this company doesn't have any parabens, so you don't even worry about that. Anyways, um, I recommend getting the primer. Because um, if you go on YouTube or look at any pictures before and after using the primer, if you buy any unique products, it's best to get the primer because the primer is like the base coat. So like my bathroom I'm in right now, okay, this is with false fire paint and, um, you know, little side note. You know, when you paint your walls and stuff, you know, you want to just, you know, prime them so, you know, the paint looks good. The paint I got was really cheap and it didn't work very well. And I had to do like two coats of primer to like get the color on my walls so anyways um if i didn't have that primer then my, my bathroom wouldn't look as good <laughs> so, and the same thing applies to your face um if you look at um i saw one picture there was a picture of an orange because orange kind of like look like they have pores in them like your face and i have genetically large pores thanks dad so anyways um, the difference between the primer, um, they put it on the orange, and they put the, you know, mineral makeup on the orange, um, with the primer, without the primer, and it was like a hundred percent difference. So, and that includes, um, any of the eyeshadows or anything else you buy from Unique, because if the eyeshadow is like a deep purple, and you put it on just your bare eye, it kind of, you know, doesn't have the deep color, it should, the pigmentation. But with the primer, it makes a really big difference. That's all YouTube videos of that, too. Um, but I'm sure Alyssa would help you out if you just ask her. <laughs> and uh, she helped me pick out this, um, this color for the mineral makeup. Um, I have pretty fair skin because I'm Irish and German. And I don't want to look tan. I'm not into tanning. In fact, I purposely put sunblock on to keep myself from sunburning. Some people like that sun kiss look. I do not. I want to look fair and kind of like porcelain-like. And um, I, I rather keep my fair skin um, protected and you know look nice and fair. So um, she helped me pick out this color Frisky, um, which kind of looks really pink. And it kind of you know it was like I didn't pick that one. I picked like the one that looked the whitest. But <laughs> she she uh, consulted with some of her um, uh, fellow employees, I guess, and she said that Frisky was the best. And the person that matched up with it was Emma Watson and me and her kind of fair skin so I was like okay I can see that and so don't let the pigmentation scare you and this is my first time putting on this um, product um, I already put on the primer and um, it was very velvety smooth um, it's clear um, which I like I like something I don't know it looks I don't know cleaner or something it just it doesn't look like it's gonna clog my pores when it's clear <laughs> and um, 
It was very velvety, not greasy. It feels like a moisturizer that I would just put on if I needed, like if my face was dry. I, I would do that. Um, I didn't put anything on before that. I just washed my face this morning. Um, anyways, this is the top of it. And then this is what it looks like. And it's pretty, um, pretty good decent size. And so that that's what it looks like. And sorry, I should have showed you the primer. It come it looks like that. And it comes in a little whatever glorious box. Oh, okay. And um, I'm using my own brush that I wash. Remember, always wash your makeup brushes. I used um, antibacterial soap and then apple cider vinegar works great afterwards because it conditions the brushes and disinfects them. And um, I probably should have bought a brush, but I didn't. I didn't think that far ahead. So, <laughs> anyways, um, the top I'm a little bit not sure about because there's not like a thing that pops out of it like it's you know bare and stuff so I guess it's okay you know it's it may if you're okay with it getting messy and stuff I'd rather keep this clean and keep the powder in here I don't want to transfer it and then it get all over the place which I may have to do that to get some of the powder out but yeah anyways I don't like using makeup that has a bunch of chemicals in it. And if there's a company out there, and then Unique also, I believe, um, helps support abusive uh, women that have been abused in their past and helps them get back on their feet. So that's another good reason to support the company. So all around good things to so we're going to see. Um, I had one foundation I really liked from Yes to Carrots or Yes to Grapefruit because of the line I use because this is an organic line. And, um, has the best, like, face wash and stuff for me. And, um, they stopped selling the tinted, the CC cream. And it was something I put on, you know, on a day if my face was having a bad day or if I was going to be at work for a long time. I don't have to put on makeup every day. I, I usually don't wear makeup at all. But if, you know, I'm waking up one day and I haven't, you know, slept well or something. And, you know, I just, you know, I have an event to go to and I want my, you know, I want to look my best. Um, I would just put that stuff on CC cream. It would correct my skin while I was wearing it. Didn't make me break out. I have very sensitive skin. So if this stuff does not make me break out, like everyone should buy it <laughs> because my skin is so sensitive. Um, and also my skin reacts more to like emotions and stress than the food I eat or anything else. So if you have skin problems, you know, maybe, you know, I recommend reading, um, Deadly Emotions by Don Colbert, I believe his name is. Um, but basically, if I'm in stressful situations, that makes me break out more than, you know, me eating any kind of bad food or something. But I do try to eat organic. And so, last thing I need is a...